Spain was really hit by the crisis, um, maybe a bit later than in other um, uh, peers and in other countries around. But I think that the, the, the depth of the, of the crisis was even bigger. One of the root causes, in my opinion, of the crisis in the Spanish banking system was uh, that uh, the, the governance frameworks no, were not up to speed. Um, the crisis hit um, and impacted the banking system and the society, but it is true that not all the pieces in the banking uh, uh, industry uh, were affected at, uh, in, the same, in the same way. Only those having really good governance uh, arrangements, really high and good um, underwriting standards, and also having a more diversified business model survived and succeeded in, throughout the crisis. So for me, the first lesson is that uh, the governance is key, the, the business model is key, and the diversification is key. Uh, so here appears the question of, of the consolidation in the, in the system. Throughout the crisis, for example, I mean the former uh, savings banks, cajas de ahorros, this almost disappeared from around 50 and now we have only two, but if you add up, uh, let's say, the seven banks that inherited the, the business of those, we will have only nine. So from 50 to seven. So there has been a big and huge consolidation in the, in the system. Also, um, the number of FTEs and branches uh, um, decreased dramatically throughout the crisis uh, by percentages of around 40%. So I think the, the, the level of restructuring in the system has been huge, and probably this is one lesson uh, taken after the crisis.